Hey, welcome to the, the Gorilla Marketing Minute. That's right, it's the Footwork Gorilla Marketing Minute. And today I wanna to talk about this strategy, this marketing strategy. They are called Rack Cards. Hey, check this out. It's a rack card. This is a rack card, this is a rack card. Rack cards are normally used in these racks, whether it's in hotels, sometimes in uh, travel stations. Sometimes when I go to Florida, there's a whole station. If you're driving anytime down the Florida Turnpike or any of these turnpikes, sometimes they'll have racks of a uh, lot of different type of amusement parks or events or anything that that can bring that's trying to drive you traffic, drive that traffic to those particular locations or events or uh, stores or amusement parks or any of those type of tourist spots. But bottom line is these are great. These are fantastic fantastic because they're cheap to put around and you know what you don't have to deliver them yourself you pay a company to go in they put them inside the racks now here's the thing about creating creating a great rack card now look if you see this rack card look the colors are bright and stuff now the one thing is you want something that stands out you want colors that will stand out you know yellow is a great color marketing color because it really stands out because normally a lot of those racks rack postcards or rack cards they're all pretty with little images and little things but they don't really speak they'll say the name of the business what it is that's wrong 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 the, even though this particular rack card says discount shoes guess what people like discounted shoes so it's the the name of the store the retailer really matches of what they're talking about it matches to what that market is now one thing about some of these uh th these are in, found in hotels so around this particular retail there's a lot of hotels around it so it's driving driving that that particular client or prospect into or that new customer into the store for discounted shoes now it also what it does it lists a lot of the name brands that they have and then also what it does it gives them a little map of where it's located their location which is very smart now what I would have done what I would have done also is put more colored pictures around on the on the on the uh, on the outside of the shoe or anything. You you want some f photos. You want photos either of the store. You want photos of the shoes. But here, but at least they have a list of the brands, discount shoes. But also, what it's missing is one thing. And I think, and I'll tell you this real quick. What it's missing is a reason to buy, a reason to take action, a reason to come in. And I can tell you right now is you anytime you're using any type of advertisement you want a some type of act call of action someone you got to say hey come in by this weekend and receive this even though that customer is in for that weekend he might think that particular prospect might think hey it's just for this weekend they're not there every weekend well one thing great about it if you just say this weekend only well it's just this weekend only it's not bad advertisement it's not a lie it's this weekend only we got you know this particular stuff on sale we got a great sales going on it doesn't it might be a sale of a different brand it might be a sale of a category you never know it might be hey a Thanksgiving sale bottom line is you know what you want to make a call to action plus receive a free gift with offer free gift when you come in now here's the thing about free gifts you don't have to buy those free gifts your you remember your vendors have some type of co-op budget in their system their marketing budgets they create whether it's shirts maybe hats maybe socks maybe keychains maybe um you, I mean, tons of stuff. I mean, they got a lot of giveaways. Bottom line is you call up your vendors, say, hey, I'm your retailer. I need your assistance here. I need you to send me what? Some swags. It's either called swag or GWPs, meaning gift with purchase or gift with try-ons. Anything that would help me to give gifts to customers coming in. Exactly. So when you can say, hey, receive a free gift uh, just for coming in. Well, it doesn't have to have a value, but it's always best to have a value on that valued at twenty dollars valued at thirty dollars the thing is it could be a limited edition hat and the hat hey you could that's a value of thirty dollars or twenty dollars whatever you make the value your customer don't know the value because some of these hats or things that are given away they're limited dishes trust me they're limited dishes because most companies are trying something new so everything is a limited edition so bottom line is you create something like that now let's look at this here's another one right here this is 
from GB Shoe Warehouse, 50,000 pairs. That's what you say, 50,000 pairs. Normally when you're seeing these racks, you're only seeing probably a quarter of the card because there's the wood right there on the shelf. So you're only seeing this particular part. So bottom line, if you see discount, you're only seeing the discount shoes. If you're seeing this, it's 50,000 pairs. Now there you have, for example, he's using his grandson as kind of like the key person in the shoe. So that's great, it tags it on to something a family member. Now you're looking at a brand, and then he talks about men's, women's, children's shoes, handbags, and even Carhartt clothing. He's talking about a particular brand that's maybe popular around the area, which is smart. The, the area's largest shoe store. And then it has the, the as far as the, uh, the address on the bottom. Now here's this. 20 per, take 20% off any single pair of item. Bring this coupon in for one-time discount. Now, one thing it says here is uh, uh, it has a little not good with any other sale or coupon. But bottom line is it's giving them a discount right off the bat. And then huge selection, all best brand names, new styles arriving daily. It has photos. It even has a map has a website, it has their phone number. So all the details to get in touch with them. Very colorful, remember, yellow, red, those are very key colors. If you look at the background, what is it? Yellow, right? And then what? Red. Same thing here, yellow background, red. Key colors to grab attention, to get attention, and that's what you need. The thing about this, remember also, I created a, a rack card for a retailer a re retailer that, you know what, that they, I'm talking about, they created the largest, the best response in any rack card or advertisement they ever did with a particular uh, retailer. And that was this particular rack card, I, a re card, I created a rack card that said, free shoes, free shoes. Imagine, you walk in and you're looking at 50 rack cards on this particular shelf, walking through a hotel, the number one thing, instead of discount shoes or 50,000 pairs, it said free shoes for you. Well, free shoes, well, what, the, what it said is like, hey, this month we're giving away free shoes, we're raffling off free shoes to show, to show gratitude and give you thanks for being our best customer, yada, yada, yada. And then I had a uh, little place where they would fill in their information, they would bring this in the store, also they would get a, a percent percentage off, a discount to come in, they had to come in by this date, and next they know it, well, guess what? Then it was a per perforated uh, card, so they would write their name in here, they would tear it off, have to come into the store to receive a free gift. Remember, receive a free gift also, come in and they would put it in the box. Guess what we did? We captured the information of people coming in. Guess what? We wanted to see how this particular rack card uh, measured up to as far as the response. And it did great. It buried any other rack card. Well, I don't care what rack cards it was. Trust me, they were picking up that rack card. No one was coming in saying, but it said free shoes. No one said that because it's, it's, it was very plain and simple. It said free shoes and I explained why we were giving away free shoes and it was just a raffle. That's what it was. But bottom line is you got to get them to pick it up. Bottom line, that's the key thing in anything you use in any marketing, you got to grab attention. You got to get their attention and you got their attention. So here, so rack cards are very great. I'm telling you right now, use them if you're a destination store, you should be using rack, rack cards. If you're a store where, hey, you're a tour, in a tourist spot, a tourist spot, I'm telling you right now, use rack cards. It's very important. It's, to, it's a, just another way of driving traffic. And you could even code it so that way you're able to measure it. Always, like, as what they said, bring this coupon in for one-time discount. Hey, guys, tell them to bring it in. They have to bring it in. Why? So that way you're able to measure it measure how much is the response is. So hey, this is George Valdez. This is your Guerrilla Marketing Minute, maybe two minutes, I don't know. But bottom line, I hope you use this information and I hope you get it because it's all about what? Putting more money in your cash register so it can go ka -ching, ka -ching. Hey, this is George Valdez, the shoe dog guru. Guess what? Dedicated for you to increasing and maximizing your profits in your footwear business. Hey, now go sell some more shoes. See you later.